So tell me about your teeth. Is your, these are gold or diamonds? What are those? Gold and diamonds. Gold and diamonds. Full, fully flooded diamonds. You know what I'm saying? All your teeth are diamonds and gold. Yes. What that cost you? Twenty thousand dollars. Twenty thousand. Yes, roughly twenty thousand dollars. Yes. Ask the jeweler, Dumani. Is it hard to eat? Uh, I can take them out. They Do you brush your teeth? Yeah, I brush my teeth. Hell yeah, I brush my brush my grill and my teeth. You know, I gotta brush both. You know. <laughs> Look at that. All right, King Script. Script. Uh, where are you from originally? Where'd you grow up? I grew up in South Central, Los Angeles. You know, a couple, two blocks away from Fig Street. Oh, is that right? Yeah. So you saw this growing up? Yeah, I seen all that growing up. How old are you now? I'm 26. 26. Tell yeah. me about your family growing up. Mm, my family grew up in a house, you know, big house, a lot of kids, you know, brothers, sisters, you know, everybody in the house, you know, doing their own thing, you know. I'm outside in the streets, you know, we all doing our own thing, like I said, you know. Yeah, yeah, mom and dad? Yeah. Pops moved away, you know, uh, around the time I was nine, you feel me? But mom's uh, been there the whole time, you know, shout out to mom. What did your dad do for work? Uh, he was, he worked for like Dell computers, you know, building computers and shit like that. Mm. So your dad had a good job? Yeah, rest in peace, pops. But you took to the streets? Yeah, I went to the streets. What was attractive about that? Mm, the streets. The streets was like, it was like a fast life, you know? It was like, I was out there and the girls, the money, everything, it was just cool, you know? So I decided to, you know, lead towards that way and with the girls and the money, the party life, you know? Has it been good to you? Yeah, it was good to me. How many years you been doing it? I did it for about nine years. Nine years? Mm hmm And you're how old now? 26. 26. How far did you go in school? Mm, I did. I got a high school diploma. That's about it. I ain't <laughs> got nothing else after that. I could have went to college, but I wanted to do something else. You know, steer something different. Tell me about the, the pimp game. So what what is it that a pimp offers a girl? So my point of view of what a pimp offers a girl is like, you know, guidance, instruction, you know, and keep her away from self-destruction, you know, basically like, you know, it's a thing called renegades, you know what I'm saying? And renegades is a big thing out here. Yeah, those girls without a pimp, you know, doing their thing on their own, you know, trying to uh, get the money on their own and all that shit, but you know, it don't really work for them all the time, you know? There is some successful renegades though, don't get it wrong, but you know, it don't work for everybody, you know what I'm saying? like. Y'all got problems with y'all run into with tricks, you know, and that's where, you know, your folks come in at your pimp, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, they can help you with all that. You know, instruction on like, when y'all moving around the United States, they don't know what to do, you know, they, they don't know how to do this, how to get money here, how to do it there. It's just, they just going places thinking that it can work and it's failing for them, you know? So that's what uh, 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 the pimp's position is really, you know, to help the bitch out, you know? Did anybody teach you this, this game? When, when you nah, started? nobody taught me nothing. I, I, I learned everything on my own. Like, I literally just learned from bumping my head and burning my hands, learning the fire is hot, you what, know what I'm saying? What kind of mistakes have you made? What kind of mistakes have I made? I say, Early on. Mm, growing up and into this game, I made mistakes like, just start off playing with the game, you know what I'm saying? I started off playing, you know, thinking that, you know, this is something that, you know, that can, you know, just be cool to do and everything, you know, but when I start getting in trouble and shit, you know, I start realizing like, okay, this ain't gonna work here and that ain't gonna work here, you feel me? This, you know, you ain't gonna be able to get your money the proper way, the way you expect it to come in when you fucking up in other areas, you know what I'm saying? So when you got these gray areas, then, you know, Shit'd go bad on you all the time. And that's where I fucked up at in them gray areas, you know what I'm saying? And I had to, you know, make myself better through that. You, you've done some prison time? Yeah, I did prison time. You know, uh, I went down for human trafficking and pimping, and um, I fought a case for that. How many years? I did three years. Three years? Yeah, three years total. Took about five we have, did a little bit more, yeah. um, you know? But uh, other than that, it was like, that case there was like, let me see. Long story short, it was a bitch that told on me. You know what I'm saying? I only had the bitch two days and was damn near fighting my whole life behind this bitch. You feel me? So it was like, you know, that was something I had to learn my lesson from too. Like, you know, another gray area in the game, you know? 
luckily through Instagram, you know, and messages and everything. That's what saved me and got me out the whole life pickle, you know. The uh, the gangs are a big part of the that, that neighborhood down there. Yeah, the gangs is a big part of it. Now, one thing about me, I never got involved into the gangs. You know, I got involved into the streets, you know, like of getting money. So you know you're what not saying? a crip or a blood or No, nah, I'm not Hoover. a crip or a blood or Hoover, none of that. Hmm. I would just, you know, addict to money. What, what, what kind of girls does a pimp look for down there? Why is that want money? <laughs> ones that want to go get the money. It's all about the money, you know. And then there's like, today, everybody want to be a pimp. Everybody want to be a hoe. You know what I'm saying? It's not made for everybody, but everybody doing it though. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's, it's neither here or there, you know? Yeah, more, more than any field I've ever seen, the, the pimp, pimps can range from totally respectable and honorable and trying to be helpful for a girl who's, who's in the streets to the worst you can imagine. And that's where you got the three different types of pimps. What are the three different kinds? You got the Romeo pimp, you got the gorilla pimp, and you got the finesse pimp. <laughs> No, three different ones I know y'all want to know. The Romeo pimp is like the boyfriend pimp. That's when everybody, you know, it's like most popular now, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's a lot of boyfriend pimps going on, you know, that comes in from like, you know, gang members and, you know, other people that just really don't know what they're doing. Girls, the renegades turning guys out, you feel me, because they need protection. So you feel me, like they got them, you know what I'm saying? These are their boyfriends, you feel me? And these be the type of niggas that be ready to kill behind their bitches, you feel me? So that's the boyfriend pimp, you know, just to make the long story short on that. Then you got the finesse pimps. Those are the ones who finesse with their mouth, their words, you feel me, in the game, you know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't, it, it ain't nothing more or nothing less to it. You know, they got game, you feel me? You just give it to them. Then you got the gorilla pimp. The gorilla pimp, pimp by force. You know what I'm saying? Pimp by force, they hands, they put their, you know what I'm saying? It's like. It, it, it's just, just bitch, get my money or you're gonna get beat the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? It's simple. And that's that. What, what, what's the most girls that you've had in, at one time? Oh, the most I had at one time was 10. 10? Yes. So that's gotta be insane. Yeah, it was It was stressful. It was stressful. I didn't like it at all. You didn't like it? Nah, I didn't like it. I, wouldn't, I, would, I would never do nothing like that again. 10, nah. It's, so, so a pimp's job is, is to collect the money at the end of the night or after every trick? Mm. It depends on how they want to do it. Honestly, I just seen it all done in all kind of different ways. You know what I'm saying? I seen I just seen everybody break as they go, like you know, get their money each trick. I didn't see them get their money after every night. You know what I'm saying? It just depend on you know the person. You know, it depends on the person that's collecting the money. You feel me on how they feel? You know how much money they got on? Like you know, they wealth that they already in. And the girls give you all their money. Yeah, they supposed to give they they're supposed to give the pimp all their money, yeah. But some 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 girls are holding on to some of it? Trying to? That's called tucking. <laughs> that's called tucking right there. That's what they're not supposed to do. When they tuck their money, that's when they gorilla pimps get the kicking in. in the so shit, do you, you, know do you have to like inspect them just to make sure there's nothing hidden and it, de- it just depend on the, the person. Wig, in their shoe, in their wherever. It depend on the person, you know, because like some people, it, they not they blind to all that, you know, they're not really, you know, hip to the girls tucking on them and stuff. I mean, you do, feel do me? Do you trust your girls? Me, if I fuck with a bitch, I'm gonna trust them. You know, I, I gotta trust them. You feel me? And if I can't trust you, then it's like you know, I either keep you on the back end or you know, I just can't fuck with you straight up. And tell me about drugs in this game. Drugs and fucked up the game a whole lot. Drugs, <sighs> fucked up a whole lot, you do, know. Do you do anything other than the pot that you're smoking? I smoke weed, you know, I, I fuck with ecstasy here and there, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, that's that's about it. But the girls, sometimes you're getting girls on crack? Or I done got that? girls on all kind of different shit, but I ain't never had a girl on crack. I don't know if they've been on crystal, I really don't know, because I didn't have girls on some quick shit, you feel me? Like, here for a couple of days and they're gone, but I was like, what the fuck is wrong with them? I don't know. But as far as crack and all the hard drugs and shit, I really don't know. But the biggest thing I know out there right now taking over the streets is Percocets. Percocets taking over the streets. Which has fentanyl street. in it, right? The 30s. The 30s have fentanyl in it, yeah. Yeah. That's a bad one. That's bad. That's bad. It so the, bad. the cops are pretty, uh, pretty easy on you guys, right? On the girls, mm-hmm. at least. Cops ain't easy on nobody. No. I'll say that. I'll say these y'all nobody. I see them rolling by, and there'll be there'll be ten girls out on the street corner, and they're just cruising by. Well, it's just you know they it's a popular area. They, you they know. know what's going on. It's a popular area. 
that 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 place been around longer than we've been around, longer than you know you've been around. It's been it's gonna be there after us. You know what I'm saying? And you no, know, they know that. You know, so it's not really too much they can do to stop what's going on out there. Like they're gonna have to arrest every girl, and then what? It's not like it's really against the law where they can send every girl to prison behind that shit. So it's not gonna really Jails work. Jails and prisons aren't big enough for that many girls. It's big enough, but they just you know the the laws ain't you know strict enough for all that. Mm-hmm. No. Did you did you ever think of that you'd be doing something other than this in your life? You have yeah. Dreams? Yeah. No, I got a business. No, I you know I started I started you know working into a business, so you know I got other shit going on. Most definitely. What would you like to be doing in ten years? Five years? I plan on being on top of my business, my funeral business. You know, so if y'all know any anybody that's dying around y'all, you know what I'm saying, that, you know, y'all need funeral services, you know, I, you know, I got that going, you know really? what I'm saying? Prestige funeral home, you know what I'm saying? Look us up. Is that right? Yep. It's an interesting combination of careers, of hustles. That's about my only one right now. What, what do your uh, parents think of what you're doing? My father, rest in peace. Mm. You know, he just died about a year ago. And uh, my mom, what she used to think about what I was doing is like, she didn't like it, but she had to accept it because she knew I was going to do what I was going to do anyway. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, just be safe. You know, don't don't get hurt. You know, don't, don't. Just know I love my son. You feel me? I don't want nothing happening to you type shit. You know what I'm saying? How do you, how do you view what a pimp does? I mean, like, a pimp is, uh, you know, some people will say you're just taking advantage of these girls. They're doing all the work and giving you all the money. I feel like that's when it comes down to the three different types and shit. You know what I'm saying? The ones that's doing their job the right way, who is giving the instructions and leading the girls to, you know, be better about themselves, you feel me, doing the right thing, you know, like, I feel like those are the ones that's like, they they keeping the game good. But then you got the people that's, you know, that mess the game up. And those are the boyfriends and the gorillas, you know, that's beating the bitches out the game and, you know, mentally fucking these bitches into other shit, you know, so when they go fuck with somebody that's real, you know what I'm saying, they thinking some whole other shit is different, you know. It's, it's such a such a seedy hustle that uh, that you're involved in. You know, every, everybody's like, it seems like everyone's dishonest. Whether it's the tricks, the girls, the pimps, everybody's got some crazy hustle, and, and no one can trust anybody. It's got to be a hard life to just go through day by day, right? Yeah, it's hard to trust anybody in the game. It's hard to trust anybody for sure. You can't trust the tricks. Some of these bitches, you know, a lot of these bitches can't trust their folks, you know, and these niggas can't trust their bitches. So, you know, I done been through a lot and been robbed by my hoes. You feel me? You have? Yes. What's the craziest thing you've seen? Craziest thing I've seen as far as what? Like in your nine years on the, in the game. Man, I done seen a lot. I don't know. I can't, like, I, I don't even know where to start. I didn't have bitches. I didn't, I didn't seen bitches get kidnapped, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, they didn't came back. You feel me, you know, and, and, and I didn't seen, I didn't seen bitches die in the game. I didn't, I didn't seen all kind of shit, you know. I didn't seen all kind of wild shit. I mean, is, is, is a girl, are you, are you cool with a girl like relieving a, a trick of his wallet or his phone or his watch or whatever when, uh, when they're in the hotel room, when they're in the car, whatever they're doing a date? To say right now, no. But then at the <laughs> time, I love it. I love it. Because it's really just about making money. I love it. It's all about the money. You know what I'm saying? The tricks, they love giving their money away. The girls love collecting the money and giving away to their daddy. And they love collecting the money. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's a combination cycle. You feel me? You just keep going from there. You know? Is there a roman- romantic el- aspect to this Yeah. thing for you? Yeah, the way... You, know, you got to, like... You gotta have love for your bitches. You feel me? Like these bitches out there risking their life for you. Feel me? Like I said, bitch, got kidnapped, bitch, and died behind this shit. You feel me? So, like, I feel like a nigga, a pimp, should have love for their hoe. You know what I'm saying? In general. You feel me? Because if they out there risking their life for you, they bring all their money back to you faithfully, then it's like, you know, what more is there to not, no, not love this bitch? You feel me? Like, ain't nobody else gonna do that shit for you, you know? Like, Ain't nobody else, they they ain't not finna go out there, go walk them streets and be out there cold and, you know what I'm saying, bringing that shit back to you for me. So you got, that's some, something you gotta appreciate, you know? Where, where do you stay? Do you have a place to sleep at night? Yeah, I stay right now in Vegas. You stay in Vegas? Yes. 
And the girls are staying where? In just motel rooms? I don't have any girls right now. <laughs> as far as we're talking. As far as right now, I have any girls. Got it. Got to cover your ass. Got to cover that ass, you know. Yeah, I understand. What, what's, how are Vegas and Los, and Los Angeles different? Vegas is a 24-hour city. LA is like 24 hours in certain places. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to know where to go. You know what I'm saying? You got to know where to go. And, and when it's 24 hours in LA, it's the streets. 24 hours in Vegas, you got the casinos. You got you got everything. Stores is open. They sell liquor 24 hours. It's different, you know? So it's a, it's a vibe. They got the clubs, all that shit. Where do you make more money? It depends on where they at. Like, I mean, it depends on the girl. It depends on the location and how to, like, like, the time they put into it, it depends on all that. Cause you know, you can be out here, they can be on Fig making a thousand to two thousand a day. They can be in Vegas making, you know, two thousand to whatever a day. You know what I'm saying? It's it's whatever. Like, it's the sky is the limit. Have you seen certain girls that just are really good money makers? I just see some girls that make good money. I just see some bitches that don't make nobody. What what's the secret to being successful in that? To be successful and making money for a bitch. Stay on your hustle. Don't be lazy. It's not gonna come to you. You gotta get on your grind. You know. What What's the hardest part of this job for for a pimp? for a pimp? Dealing with these bitches. Dealing with these bitches for real. That shit is mentally disturbing. But you know, it's 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 a uh, it's for the best of us. What do you do when they get out of line? I. What, what what would I do? Now what would I do? Hypothetically speaking, <laughs> it depends on the situation. Now, like if you no, know, like you ever get physical? You know, nah, I don't do that. I don't put my hands on bitches. I don't do that. But now, as far as like you no know, punishment goes, I'll say like. You just gotta like put them in their place. You feel me? Like it don't even gotta always be putting your putting your hands on them. But if you feel like they pushing there, they pushing that, then you don't need them. You know what I'm saying? Just get rid of them. And then when you get rid of them, they see that it's that real. Like damn, like he a good nigga. You feel me? He ain't gotta put his hands on me. They might want to come back. You feel me? So like that's the whole part of the finesse. You know what I'm saying? You have kids? Yeah, I got a son, eight years old. He's with mom. He with my mom. I'm sorry. He with my mama. He's with your mom. Mm-hmm. Where's his mom? She live out here somewhere. I, I really don't. I really don't like really co- have contact with her like that. You know what I'm saying? But you know she's somewhere out here. In script, what would, you, what would you say is the most important lesson you've learned in your life? In my life, you're 26 years. Can't trust nobody. <laughs> can't trust nobody. You've been in the game too long. You've been in the game way too long to trust anybody. You can have trust for people, but you can't, like, you know, don't really put your all in it, you feel me? Because you'll be blinded. When they see that you got your all in them, you'll be blinded. They're like, they're tricky, you know what I'm saying? Like, they'll be like, oh, okay, he trusts everything I do type shit, or, you know what I'm saying, whatever. It's anybody, a girl, nigga, family, anybody, you know what I'm saying? They'll cross you because they feel like, you know, you're putting your all into them. You've had uh, black girls, white girls, Mexican girls? I'd had a ball. I'd had a ball. What's, it, what's are, are certain girls easier than others, certain races? That's the that's like a big thing right now going on to the blacks, the other races, and all that other shit. I love them all. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I love them all. You know, I love all the girls. I like to get money. You know what I'm saying? But um, <clears throat> who makes the best money? Honestly, it's like a big fight in that, you know? We all know the whites, the Mexicans, the Asians, they gonna make more money, you know what I'm saying? Standing on the streets and shit because it's like not really a racial thing, but y'all gotta think about it, you know, the tricks that's out there, they white, Mexican, and Asian and shit. They're not really black. Like, it's black tricks out there, but ain't nobody really giving them no love, you know what I'm saying? So majority of them is Mexican, white, and Asian. So if you think about it in a natural life, you know, a white person, Asian person, Mexican person, black person, they like they own race. You know what I'm saying? That's what they like. So when they out there in the streets and they see they own race, 
and it's something that they like, that's what they're gonna spend their money on. So these Mexican girls and white girls, that's why they make more money because that's their tricks out there, you know what I'm saying? And the black girls is more like a fantasy to them because they like, you know, it's different. But, you know, you got some also that like really like these black girls, you feel me? So, you know, it, it it's different, you feel me? It's like a big, you know, argument in that, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, I don't really be too judgmental. I've, I've heard it. a lot of the black girls tell me that they won't date black guys. Yeah, they but won't the, date but black guys. But the white girls will. Yeah. So that opens up a larger market for them. Mm -hmm. The black guys treat the white girls better. I mean, than they do the black girls. Black guys treat treat girls however they go treat them. Honestly, they they trick too, just like everybody else. It's just they more so, you know, crafty. You know, they more so crafty. You never know what's gonna you know what it's gonna be with them. More games. Yeah, it's like you know they can they can just you know switch up at any time. So it's like you know. All right, script. Thank you so much for sharing your story. Wish you lots of luck out here in L.A. Appreciate it. Stay out of trouble. For sure. Okay, man. Thank you.